In my last upload, I introduced to you Chris's new to him 1995 Toyota 4Runner, and today we're gonna to be making the first modification. Now, unfortunately, we're not doing a lift kit. We're not doing larger tires. We're gonna be going the safety route, and we're installing a mirror-mounted rear view dash camera. This is from Vantop, and it's actually pretty cool. If you go buy a brand new Chevy Corvette or a Mercedes G-Wagon, you're gonna get a mirror that's a little bit like this, and we're gonna be putting it on a 25 year old car for about 120 bucks. If you wanna check out this product, link to it is in the description below. Chris was commenting about how scary it would be to see that image in your rearview mirror. Hopefully that never happens, right? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> There she is. So quite a bit larger than Chris's old rear view mirror. Go ahead and take that out of the packaging. And I've got these little rubber pieces here that clip on. So they just clip on on either side there and they wrap around the existing rear view mirror. So really easy installation. And then you'll see that he's plugging in the power. So it's just got a standard, uh, basically cigarette lighter style power. You can also hardwire it to the vehicle. And it comes with a really long cable so that you can hide this. So we'll be doing that later on, finding a good route to um, basically wire it up to the, through the headliner to get it wired in. And then it's also got the backup camera. So we'll connect that on top as well. So we've got the backup camera connects here. It's also got a little slot here for a memory card, so you can record uh, footage, and then another connection here for a GPS receiver. Let's go ahead and clip that onto the mirror. And currently it's on the backup camera view, so that's why it's kind of a fuzzy image. Let's actually, well, for, first of all, you can see we've got time, day, and date. You can change the format of that as well. If we push the power button on the bottom, it turns it off and it just functions like a normal rear view mirror. So that's the nice thing too, is if you don't wanna, you know, always have that di digital image, you can just have it function like a normal mirror would. You don't have to pull it off to, you know, access your old mirror. And then again, we can push this button to power that back on just for uh, kind of showing you how this works. Chris has the camera up here on the headliner, giving you a rear view mirror. Hopefully he finds a better <laughs> location for this long term. <laughs> you can see the kids in the back though. You can That's use this true. like a monitor to keep oh an eye on your kids. So yeah, we got the, the backup view here. And then if I take my finger here and I just slide to the right, now we've got both views. So it's got the front view and the rear view. So pretty cool. And then we'll just go ahead and slide one more time and now it goes to the front view. Other cool thing here is I can take my finger on the left hand side of the screen here and swipe. It goes up or down so you can change that view depending on the angle that you're looking for. And then I can take my finger on this side and change the brightness. So especially nice at night time if you want to you know, turn that down. It's pretty cool. And then if I just tap it one time, you can take a picture we can record if we've got that memory card in there and then we also have the mic right here so you can mute that um, if you don't want to record audio inside the vehicle when you're recording and then we've also got this settings button that we can tap right here if we go to the settings screen here all of the various features on the mirror loop recording so we can record non-stop when the memory card fills up then it will just erase the oldest footage and replace it with new uh, we've got time lapse feature again we got audio and then we've got the driving mode and parking mode this is kind of cool it basically has collision uh, detection and so you can set that up to where if you're driving along and there's a crash that you witness um, the the mirror can actually detect a crash and so then it'll record for like 20 or 30 seconds when it sees that's about to happen um, so you've got that for either, either driving mode or parking mode um, you know number of other settings and features in here you can turn audio on so when you're tapping a button it makes a sound or you can turn that off like it is right now you can change the language day and time format got speech recognition so a number of different features in there um, pretty cool all around go back again real quick so you can see this main screen um, and it records in 2500k so pretty good quality footage as well 
So that's a look at the Van Top mirror mounted dash camera. A pretty cool product. Like I said, this is something that's very similar to what you're gonna get on a brand new Chevy Corvette or a Mercedes G-Wagon. We're talking about vehicles that are up near that $100,000 mark. And it's a product that you can put on an older vehicle like this 1995 Forerunner for a fraction of the price. A pretty cool product. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. For more Forerunner videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.